morning folks, it's another shrimp vlog now for the uh, Mouse Party annual pass party. So uh, this is basically Mickey Mouse's actual, <laughs> rather than Mickey Mouse's actual birthday, which was the Mickey Nighty trip. Uh, now we're going to what is essentially his birthday party uh, for Disneyland Paris annual pass holders. So we're going to be in Disneyland Park with only, I think the maximum occupancy is like 6,000 tonight. So it'll be a little bit quieter than usual, hopefully. Uh, there's some special entertainment. Uh, something I think there's some exclusive goings on, dance party, all sorts. So it should be a lot of fun. And uh, gonna head off soon to get the Eurostar to Paris and then across on the RER. Um, it's about five a.m. now, so it's very early. I'm kind of tired, but uh, see how this goes. And uh, see you on the way. So, anyway, now we've seen that, which I did not see on the other side. That's interesting. Uh, Have a good chicken. Well, after some of the uh, weird ticket trouble that you sometimes have to endure when you set the area, uh, my ticket wouldn't let me out for some reason. It's not the first time it's happened to me. It's a bad ticket, but hey ho, eventually I found a way through the barriers. Yeah. Anyway, I've made it, as you can see, back in the world of Disney. Uh, so, first things first, I think I need to go and try and get my party ticket printed. I've had several pieces of advice on ways I can potentially do that. Most of them revolve around me going towards the Disneyland Hotel, so it's that way. And off I go. So here's a cool thing if you find yourself in a situation like I did where you haven't got that ticket printed. You can come into the Disneyland Hotel, turn left, and straight into your Hotel, that is, which it is. There's a little PC for the printer, so you can just uh, look onto your email or your iCloud app or wherever you put your ticket, and uh, print it off, sign out. And you're good to go, so I've got my ticket now. Nice and simple. So now I'm going to go back to the hotel and check in.
Hello again, guys. <coughs> I've made it into my hotel room. I've actually been here a little while now uh, because I decided it would probably be a good idea after my long traveling to do some resting. Uh, but done that now. Uh, so getting ready to go back out, be in the parks for the rest of the day for the, uh, the AP park and whatnot. Uh, but before I go, uh, I think take a look at my room. I'm in the Ibis budget. Uh, it's, as I mentioned in my uh, Mickey 90 trip vlog, this is my pick for uh, a cheap, the cheapest option. Um, I go with the High Park course and then as the best offsite option, this is the value option if you like. It's, uh, it's always very cheap and it's, it's decent enough. It's not like the Ritz, but you get what you pay for. So let's take a look at the room. So, you get a double bed at the bottom. And then there's a single up top in the bunk arrangement. And there's some extra bedding for that bed. It's not made by default. So we'll go with it. Little hanging rack. Yeah, you put up, whatnot. Little shelf by the bed. And then there's the desk, which we used to have to negotiate around this plug socket, but they've now given us this cool uh, power cube extension <coughs> thing, which has. Three ports on it. Oh, four ports, I think one of them too. And also USB ports directly as well. So even if you have an adapter, if you've got USB cables, you can just plug those straight in. But I'm using my adapter anyway since I put it. And of course, get a little chair. Your TV. It's not, it's not huge, but it's flat screen, it's decent enough. And there's an uh, external input here. It's an old composite video, so if you're using HDMI, an adapter like uh, one of these. That'll take your uh, HDMI in. That's a bit out. Composite video, which you can use to plug in to the Ibis budget TV. I haven't set any of that up at the moment because I won't be in here enough to justify it. And look out my window. It's not a bad view, considering. Uh, back over here, in the room you get sink. It's not huge, but it does the job. Towels, little cup, you know, silk, standard stuff, and there's a socket for shavers or charging toothbrush or whatever. Here, we shower, standard stuff. Get your uh, body and hair soap there, and then it's just a shower head. Nice and there's a light in there too, so don't worry about it getting too dark. Separate from that, over here, get the loo. It's Japanese style, they still have the loo in the uh, shower, which is that Japanese style. Disney Cruise style, let's say that. I'm going to be getting my uh, travel stuff mixed up. Anyway, uh, simple enough room. Carbon floors, decors, this bit's beige, that bit's white, and that bit's blue. That's your decor. Nothing too fancy, but for the money, it's a good, it's a good show. Uh, so that's a quick look at the room. Um, and now I'm gonna get my jacket back on and uh, head back into the resort proper. So. Uh, Probably see you there. Yeah. That, that's a stopped train. The area isn't moving right now because uh, where I can tell from the information screen, uh, my attended bag or something like that at Marlaville Chassis Station has stopped traffic in that direction. So uh, it's currently about half two. Um, From just about being able to read the French on the sign, I think they're expecting the line to reopen at 3 o'clock, so about half an hour of waiting on this platform. I, had I known about this, would have just stayed in my hotel for another half hour, but hey-ho, what can you do? The last time something like this happened, I wound up taking a multi-hour detour to uh, Lyon. So I was on the TGV, and uh, I was already on the train. And right, I think I had stop between... Malavale Chesse and Lyon, so 
That was fun. This is at least not that convenient. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just standing around on the platform. Waiting. Waiting for them to reopen the service. La Valley, you should see. Uh, we finally got on the train and got here, and now I'm back finally in Disneyland, ready for the rest of the day. So we pan out of the area. Ooh. That's lame. I apologize. Anyway, gotta go get my stuff out of my pockets and head through security and get on with Disney at last. <laughs> Generally consider this a rarity, but it seems to be becoming uh, increasingly common. Both the Welcome Plaza boutiques are open, Plaza West Boutique and Plaza East Boutique. Are open. Uh, it's rare enough that we remarked upon it last time we were here, and so that was the case. But here we are again, and once more they're both open. Maybe they're. Uh, Starting to try and get more of their money out of them. We'll do something I kept forgetting to do last time actually pick up the rope. Well, there are things on here which, for some reason, are not listed in the app, which is helpful. So, uh, get the program. Make sure anything that you come across the app isn't telling you about. You can find the details for. do yet. Hadn't thought that far ahead. Mostly just excited to be here. Maybe I should find somewhere to peruse this program I picked up and figure out what to do. Check it. Preparations for the most part tonight. Big stage in Central Plaza. Here's the advent calendar. Today's advent calendar is a Christmas Bambi plush. No cake. So far, no cake. You must have heard all the jokes last year about the cake. Kind of disappointed. I want the cake. but I didn't see it when I was last here, so I figure I should pop in and uh, get it seen. This isn't the best spot. Bit off angle, but um, it should be fine. So check this out and then uh, see what happens next. There's a Merry Jolly Jingles. Might try that. Because it sounds weird.
déjà commencé. C'est chouette. Hello, Ricky. Hi, Circle to Hi, Ricky. I hope we're not late. Hello, everyone. Look at my Christmas dress. Isn't it festive? Fini, tu es, tu es. Très Noël. Happy Halloween, everyone. Halloween? Oh, Dago. Qu'est-ce que tu racontes? Just look at the decorations. It's Christmas time. Well, sure it is. I was just testing you.
now that's what a Christmas boy is all about. About the same as last year. Um, I continue to be slightly baffled about the fact that it doesn't have the song Mele Kaliki Maka in it because it seems like the whole thing is a bit building up to that song. Is it Stitch, Hawaii, Christmas? But then they never sang it. So I don't know if it was supposed to be in there and they couldn't get the rights or if I'm just reading more into it than they were intending, I don't know, but it's a good show, it's decent. It's not the highlight of the season or anything, unless maybe you're a huge Stitch fan, but it does its job as a cast of the stage show. Now I am, um, there is indeed a, uh, whatever the heck that show, show is called, Very Jolly Jingles. Uh, hello. 40 minutes, just under. So I had nowhere to get that. Because I haven't seen that either, because it hadn't even opened last time I was here, because it was a last minute replacement for them reopening Cinemagique. That's a tough act to replace. We'll see how this goes.